Hi guys, happy Monday. Becky Timms here live for The Drive at Five. And today I wanted to ask you a quick question. Why are keywords so important on Amazon and eBay? So a lot of times um, we talk about keywords a lot, but do you really know why it's that important? So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Becky Timms, and I am super passionate about helping women earn their first dime online with e-commerce. And so I'm actually at the beach, and guys, it is so cold outside today. It's like freezing out there. I did um, win an award today. Hi, Helen. I won an award today for um, being a volunteer for Water for People, which I'm very passionate about drinking water. Um, you guys know I, I work full-time in the industry. It's my 22nd year um, in the water and wastewater industry, and I'm super passionate about it. So let's talk about keywords. Keywords, why, why is it so important for keywords on Amazon and eBay? And it's one word, sales. We all want more sales when we are selling on eBay and Amazon. And so I always say you're not selling products, you're selling keywords. And I love to make data-driven decisions. So before I look for any product, whether it be drop shipping or private label or whatever, hi Lydia, before you do that, you wanna make sure that there is a demand for your product. And the way that you can do that is use some keyword research tools. But I wanted to tell you today about one special keyword search term that you can use, especially if you're selling on Amazon. But also, when you're using keywords, I want you to think about your individual search habits. So when you are looking for a product to buy on Amazon, what do you do? When you go to Amazon, do you put on any type of filters? Do you say, show me the prime um, prime products only and that means they're physically in an Amazon warehouse and or the seller can guarantee that you will get the item in two days and you can filter just by prime only or do you search by keywords or do you search by price you know think about how you search when you go on Amazon and do you change your search patterns the longer you have to search for an item because some people do but if you're selling on Amazon, this is one word, one keyword that you can put in the back end search of Amazon. And so um, Amazon recently made change it. Well, not recently, it's been a while now, but there's five lines on the back end of Amazon where you can add keywords. And for each line, you can add 50 um, characters or bytes. And so basically you can have 250 bytes when you're putting in your keywords. Well, one of them should be a five letter word and I think it should be prime. I don't care what you're selling if your item is prime because some people say, you know, they search for ketchup prime, mustard prime, because they want those items, Oreos prime. They want those items in two days. And so they use the word prime, P-R-I-M-E, as a search term and you can do the exact same thing if you're listing on Amazon and it is a prime item. So I just wanted to share that tip with you. And then for keywords as well, um, let's say that you're selling on eBay and you wanna know what keywords you can list for Amazon, or I'm sorry, for eBay. Well, what I would do is if people are searching on Amazon for it, they're probably searching for it on eBay. So you can go over to Amazon and just type in the word ketchup, if, if you're looking for ketchup, and then put ketchup space, the letter A. And that will give you all the words for ketchup and then whatever starts with an A afterwards. And then after you look at those keywords, you can go put ketchup space B, ketchup space C. And it will give you, it's a free, I mean, it's free. You could do that in Amazon. And not only in Amazon, you can go to Google and do the exact same thing. And you can search eBay the exact same way and get tons and tons of keywords that way. Now there are um, many, many, many keyword search tools that you can use, but you know, free is good if you have time. I highly recommend 
that you use the Amazon search bar, the eBay search bar, and Google because they will give you some valuable information. So if you like this video, thumbs up, share it, thumbs down, I really don't care. Um, but I hope you all have an amazing Monday and I will see you tomorrow on The Drive at Five. And if you're interested in learning e-commerce, send me a message and I'd love to talk to you. Hope you all have an amazing day. Bye.